What up? It's your boy, The Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I just watched My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 10, a.k.a. Episode 73. Now, this is an episode, man. I know I said in the past couple episodes that this was my favorite episode. This was the bomb. This was my favorite episode. If I'm being 100%, man, this was one of my favorite. Ah, uh, I have too many favorites. I don't know if I can keep calling them favorites because I keep picking them, but this was my favorite episode. And if I'm going to go out and be 100%, I know the League of Villains are going to do some stuff later on down the line that, because, like, I've seen a lot of people, um, mention it on YouTube and stuff. I mean, I don't know exactly what they're going to do, um, but on YouTube and Twitter, I heard a lot of people say that um, Shigaraki is going he's, he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna to do some things in the future. So, But as of right now, man, I'm rocking with the League of Villains. I'm being 100%. You know, watching the show, you get warped in and you're taking in from a hero's perspective or Class 1A or Midoriya. So that's where we start from. That's our starting point. And we're just in, ended up wrapped around them. But, let's be real, from this episode, I'm rocking with the League of Villains. I'm just being 100%. That's just my take. I'm with the villains. Um, Yeah, man, this episode was boss, man. So we got the conclusion of everything with Fat and um, Kirishima, a.k.a. Red Riot, and the other guy. They, they were fighting. Or, Ra I think Rappa was his name. Rappa or Rappa or whatever. Um, and... Dude wasn't knocked out. He was still conscious, but he's got some broken ribs, and I think his arm or shoulder's broken. But he still wants to continue to fight Fat. He So he showed Fat um, a room where he can um, rest for a little while to get his strength and stamina back and to let Kirishima rest as well. Um, he get, he showed him like a first aid room and everything. And the other guy that was with him was like, no, 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 we can't be giving them all these luxuries. And he was like, shut up. You're hurt. You can't even use your barrier anymore. So you're useless. So they're in their, they're in their um, resting. And that's what we see at the beginning of this episode. So they have their whole thing. And Fat is also trying to squeeze out a little information if he can, you know, to buy more time before he has to fight this dude because he hasn't recovered yet at all. So he's trying to buy more time by gaining some information. So we learned out that dude was an MMA fighter and we know why he likes to fight now because, you know, we got a brief little mini story of him being an MMA fighter and him fighting overhaul and getting demolished five or six times. And the thing is, now Fat is questioning everything because he's like, well, as strong as this dude is, Overhaul has beat, has beat this dude five or six times with his speed and strength. And we all know Overhaul's quirk. But at the same time, his reaction time still has to be on point to stop this dude. This dude was fast. This dude was good too, man. We saw him put work in on Fat and um, Red Riot. So what Fat was saying made sense. You know, like, wow, Overhaul is Overhaul may be actually really super strong. We know it. But for Fat and him to figure it out, it's nice. Um, so that's where they're at in this whole episode. They're still, he's still trying to squeeze out some information. Then we jump and we see everybody else. First of all, we see Overhaul, um, walking down the hall with Aerie and, um, Colonel Stasis, I think that's his name. And they're leaving and he's, he's going into his whole little thing about the Mafia or, I mean, the Yakuza and the League of Villains and Heroes and everything. And he still has the serum in the, um, in the other, whatever it is. He has the other one. So... It's nice to see that, that, that they're still leaving little tidbits of trails to lead up to that point. Now, this is where it, this is where it switched for me. This is where it got heavy, and, and, it, and it showed everything, man. So we're back in the hallway, and we see um, the dude that's, that's in the walls. Mimic, I don't remember his name, but I know his uh, powers is like the mimicry powers. So he can control all of the walls once he's inside them and everything. So he's controlling the walls. He's losing his stuff. The... the um, the steroid that he used is about to um, run out. So he's trying to go ahead and separate all of the people. I mean, um, kill all of um, the intruders that's in there because he can't catch Mirio or Lumillion. He, he's gone. So he's going to try to stop Midoriya and uh, everyone else and uh, Night Eye and everyone. He's going to try to stop him. That wasn't going his way because we got to see Rocklock use his powers this time. Rocklock. Locked down the walls, which was cool. He, he locked down all the walls, so that gave them a chance to escape a little bit. And then he started to send like a bum rush of rocks and stuff or pieces of wall at them. And Midori was on it. Midori was on point this episode. I got to give him his credit. He was up there, Shuto style, full Cowling 100% of Shuto style. So it was nice. It was nice to see um see him um uh, get. A, he, he didn't do much, but like he was kicking rocks. So, but then 
the dude decides to separate them because at that moment, as you know, the League of Villains are also working with him and he separates everyone to have the League of Villains attack them. Now, at this time, then we get to a little flashback and we see Overhaul talking with Shiraki and we understand and we're seeing how it was all set up and how they got involved because we we, we, we see a setup, but like, you know, it's not really diving into much at the first uh, flashback. Then we jump back and we see uh, Tomura attacking Rocklock. She's put Rocklock saw her and he he felt he knew something was off. He still got stabbed, but he knew something was off. Then he tried to shout out and tell um, that it was the League of Villains, but she covered his mouth and she was like, "Shh, keep it a secret." So it was nice. You got to give Tomura credit. She's annoying from time to time, but then like when she's attacking somebody or she she's really a good villain, man. She's she's a real good villain. Um, so then that happens, then Midori kicks in the wall, and we see it knocked down, we see, um, Rock Lock on the ground bleeding. Then Tomura tries to, uh, tries to make it, um, uh, not, man, I'm not bad, I'm, I'm fumbling over all of my words. Uh, anyway, she tries to take it and, um, fake, like, uh, she's the real Rock Lock, but, no, 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 Mr. Aizawa Sensei, aka Razorhead, saw through it. And he and the racing head was on point, but like while he done that at the same time, like she could definitely be an. I, was she an assassin? I, was she an assassin? I don't remember. I know they use her for like all the covert stuff, but anyway, she like she was maneuvering while she still had the bandages on and everything, and she was still going ham, and she even stabbed um a racing head. So, and then Midoriya's whole face when he saw her, he was like, no, no, no. So um, what else happened? Oh. Then she escaped, and then we come back, and we see um, Night Eye um, having a confrontation with Twice. Now, he's with Twice, and we knew that this wasn't the real Rapa. He's with a copy uh, Rapa that uh, she created, and um, it was nice. It was, and I said, oh, I think I said Tomer the whole episode. I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, um, we see uh, Twice with a fake Rapa, and then we get to see my boy Night Eye go ham. He... Tell me he's not bad, but yeah, he doesn't have like um a power like everyone else, like like to attack or anything. He could just see the future and see like their life played out. But it doesn't matter because this episode he proved I can't even talk. He proved that he can handle his own. Then these little things that he had that kind of look like chess pieces that he can throw and they tell me dude is not bad, man. That dude is my favorite character. I really love him so much. Um there's other characters that you find and enjoy, but I love Night Out so much, man. Um like I said, we have Lumillion trying to find Aerie in Overhaul. Um, and after that, we kind of get like another flashback and we see Shigaraki and uh, Overhaul. No, no, no. We already saw that. Okay, yeah. Then we see Shigaraki telling twice and uh, Tora to, uh, Tora to go to, to meet them. To uh, to join the... Um, what is What are they called? The, the, the Asaki or... Anyway, the Yakuza joined Overhauls, the little Yakuza group. And they were like, why? No, no. And Twice was so broken up about it because they killed Big Sis. And he was so torn about that, man. He was having a hard time dealing with it. And Shigaraki was like, because I told you to for one. And in that moment, he was boss. He was straight boss. Because I told you to and because we're going to use this to our advantage. And they were like, okay, I see you. And so they went and done it. And now, and then you can see like how they started sowing all these little seeds of doubt and deceit into the guy that's in the wall. And he was pissed. He was super pissed. So then he dropped them down a the hole. He dropped heroes down a hole. He was like, just kill them all. And because I read the manga, I know that this is like a setup. But at the same time, it was super shocked. I was super shocked when I seen it happen. But I'm super excited because now, and then that's how this episode ended. But now, man, dude, stuff is picking up. Like, what I read in the manga, like, everything is happening at a faster pace. And I'm not complaining, but let's be real. This season of My Hero Academia may be the best season. For, for me, I'm just being real. This season of My Hero Academia may be the best season. I haven't been disappointed in any of the episodes I've seen so far. I'm loving each and every episode. They're handling it at a nice pace. And this episode made me, made me get emotional throughout the whole episode. And it made me feel for fat. And it, you know it's great when it make, when an episode or an anime can make you feel for the heroes and the villains. 
I felt for each side. That's just what it is, man. And that's what I felt this episode, man. And I'm I'm rocking with the villains for right now. I love the heroes and everything, but like as of right now, man, I'm rocking with the villains. So this is your buddy Incredible, man. Don't forget to smash that like button. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below. Now be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. Remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life. And My Hero Academia Season 4 may be the best season. Just saying. Peace out, man.